Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to work on graphing parabolas in factor form. So factor form is where we have the quadratic written out as its factors. So uh, we'll have an a, a coefficient out there, and then we'll say x minus m times the quantity x minus n. Now this is really handy because we know at m and n, those are the roots. That is where it's going to intercept the x-axis. And then from there, we can kind of figure out a lot of other important details. Now, let's keep in mind that our goal here is to get three to five points when graphing. So what I have is a couple of examples, and we'll walk through it and um, put them on the graph here on the right. So this first one, let's start off with something simple. So let's just say we have y equals x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 2. Now, what I know right off the bat is that I have x-intercepts at x equals 4 and x equals negative 2. So at negative 2, I have a, an x-intercept, and at 4, I have an x-intercept. Now, um, there's an axis of symmetry in a parabola. Now, my parabola is going to go something like this. I just don't know the exact points in detail, or the exact points of it quite yet. So what I can do, though, is I can find the distance between these guys and split that in half. And so if I count, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six points, or there's six spaces between those two. So right here is where my axis of symmetry is going to be. All right, and now let me erase this just sketching I put there. And so what I know is that my axis of symmetry is going to be at x equals three. So not x equals three, there's three spots. x equals one. So I'm going to evaluate this function at 1. And when I do that, I'll get y equals 1 minus 4 times the quantity uh, 1 plus 2. Simplify that a little bit. I have negative 3 times 3, which is negative 9. And so my vertex is going to be at 1 comma negative 9. So 1, negative 9, down here. And so I've already found three points. But if I want a few more, I could find my y-intercept. And the way I find my y-intercept is by just looking at the actual numbers. So here, I'm going to take a look at my negative 4 and my 2. I'm going to multiply these together. So I'm just going to go negative 4 times 2. And that gives me negative 8. So I now know there's a y-intercept at negative 8. And there's a y-intercept, or then there would be, a, based off the axis symmetry, another point right here. And I have my three, my three to five points right there. Oof, not my best drawing, but gets the job done. All right, so now let's look at a different example, and let's make it maybe a little more complicated. So back to the pen, new color. Let's go with red. And here, let's go with something like, um, let's say, we'll switch it up. We'll go f of x equals... 4 times the quantity x minus 1, x plus 2. Okay, so uh, right off the bat, I know I have x-intercepts at 1 and at negative 2. So 1, negative 2. All right, awesome. Now, uh, with that, I can look at this, and I can split the difference, and that's going to be right here. And so from when it comes to my vertex... I know the x-coordinate is negative one-half. And the way I did that, again, is I looked at this and, oops, one sec here, um, saw that this distance is three, and so I just split it in half and then uh, found the halfway point, which is negative one-half. So I'm going to evaluate that one-half, f of negative one-half. That is equal to four times negative one-half minus one times one-half, no, negative one-half plus 2. Simplify that a little bit. That's 4 times negative 3 over 2, and then this would be 3 over 2. And so let's see here. These 2s are going to cancel out with that 4, and then I'm going to get negative 9 again. And so at negative 1 half, negative 9 is where my vertex is. So I go down here, negative 9. There we go. Now, I've got a couple of options. So uh, here, great opportunity to talk about the A trick, as I like to call it. And so for the A trick, my A equals 4. So what I can do is I can use a slope of 4 
to kind of help me find um, my next spot. So I can go up four over one, and that's one way to do this. One, two, three, four over one. Um, that's one way to find uh, right there uh, a point. And then there's an axis of symmetry, so I can then go right here as well. And then, uh, so that's one way I can find uh, points. Another way, though, is to, again, find the y-intercept. And the way you would do the y-intercept is take these numbers, 4, negative 1, and 2, multiply them together, 4 times negative 1 times 2. That's going to give me negative 8. And so right about here would be my y-intercept. And then, again, right about here. Let's see, is it? Oh, no, right there, right there. There we go, right there. And so I have a very steep parabola. Looks like that right there. And there we go. And so that's, again, how we can um, graph a parabola in factor form. Now, let's do one final example, and let's make it with A being negative. So let's go back to the pen. Let's go to green. And this time, we're going to do a variation of the first one we did. Um, or no, actually, we'll do a variation of the one we just did here. So uh, f of x is equal to negative 2 times the quantity x minus 1, then x plus 2. So again, I'm going to have the same intercepts at x equals 1, x equals negative 2. So that right there and right there. I have the same sort of axis of symmetry right here. So I know that my vertex is going to, oops, vertex is going to be at negative one half, but now I got to plug this in. So f of negative one half is negative two times the quantity. Uh, well, we already kind of did this, so we know that this is going to be negative three over two, and this one's also going to be three over two. Um, and so now only one of the twos is going to cancel out. So here we're going to get a positive value because we have those two negatives multiplying, and we're going to have nine over two. And so negative one half. 9 over 2, which is, what, 4.5? So 4.5, roughly right there. All right, now here, the A trick eh, gets a little tricky. If I wanted to, I could use it. Um, but I could also try to find the intercept. And so for the intercept, for the y-intercept, that is, I can just multiply my numbers together. I take my A value, so negative 2, times it by essentially my M and N values, negative 1 and positive 2. And so this is going to give me positive 4. So right there, axis of symmetry, another point. And there we go. I have my 3 to 5 points, and I made my graph. And so, again, this is how we graph parabolas in factor form. Uh, one, we start off, let's go to a highlighter here. We start off using this information right here to then get our roots, our x-intercepts. After that, the tricky part is being able to split the difference, going halfway between them, wherever that is, and using that value to help us find the vertex. After that, we could use the A trick. We could use a way to find the y-intercept, use the axis of symmetry to help us find some other points. So hopefully this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, and good luck on your work.